1680, a particularly bright comet caught the attention of Isaac Newton. It was a fascination that was to change the way we understand the universe. On November the 19th, at half past four in the morning, in Cambridge, the comet was seen by some young man. And on the same day, at five in the morning, at Boston, in New England, the comet was also observed. What was extraordinary about this comet was that it was visible in the sky, it was very bright, you could see it in October and November, of 1680, and then it disappeared behind the sun. And then another comet appeared from behind the sun in December, at the end of the year, and was visible right through to March of 1681. So the big question is, is this one comet or two? If it's one comet, then it's bent a lot near the sun. Now here's a diagram that Newton himself made of the path of the comet if it's one comet. You see here that it was approaching the orbit of the Earth and the Sun in October and November of 1680. And then it disappears behind the Sun and reappeared in December and it stayed visible through February and March of 1681. For the sun to bend the path of a comet this much, Newton realized that there had to be an unseen force at work. He called it gravity. An idea which didn't come from an apple falling from a tree, but from a comet passing behind the sun.